Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues, the A to Z series V2, which we're playing as the Arborg Junta. Just because the last time I played this, they didn't have a you know unique focus tree. Um, but here we are. We're fighting the Republic of Three Rivers. We've done a little bit more off screen, and we've lost, well, quite a few guys. We've taken out quite a few of them, but uh, some of this has been really, honestly, kind of a mess. And they're actually very strong, which kind of sucked for us, but you know, whatever. Um, but here we're going to take out some enemies and have a good time doing so. And some uh, Republic of Three Rivers. Oh, they must have volunteers from the Old Believers or something like that. Sure, that's interesting. Very interesting. Please hold and help take them all out. So, that's good and so to do. Um, please finish them off. There you go. And. There you go. Uh, good. But I did some more focuses too, such as cruel war measures. Three Rivers is a big challenge in a massive nation. Every soldier and gun that we can extract from a country must be extracted, no matter what the human cost is. The ends justify the means after all. And incite a monarchist revolution. There's still plenty of monarchists in the land of Three Rivers. Many of them simply want to keep their heads down and live quiet lives, but if we show them there's a chance of victory, then many of them will rise up and revolt. So, But we can do either cheap and affordable versus works of art. But, so if you want to read about cheap and affordable, please go ahead. I prefer works of art. We've discovered that a few of our workers have actually begun improving their weapons and making suggestions for how we can make better weapons. Would it be great? Um, honestly, I'm going to keep you guys here anyways, since, well, it seems like a good idea to just finish these guys off. Um, take all but you. There's four divisions there. We'll go to Porto Prairie. Uh, you all do that. That'd be nice. Our fine tools are very good. And we get more output too, because we're missing some stuff, we're missing some manpower. The usual, of course. Six divisions, wow. Oh, they're attacking us as well. That's not ideal. Help them out just in case. Mm -hmm. So we might be losing there, which is not ideal. Not quite winning here, which kind of sucks. Yeah. I'll no, just hold it for now. So this is what we've been kind of doing uh, since then, and we don't have a lot of territory. We have no more territory in which we can actually like core for now. So, ensure um, production output to make sure we have continued producing the quality quantity of weapons that we need. An expansion of our arms industry is needed, of course. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very good. Uh, that's not ideal. Keep it there. Keep it there, and then get some more decryption. That'd be nice. It's a lot of divisions. So. But with Republic Three Rivers, they still have two to three thousand manpower, which is kind of insane. So this is what we've been dealing with a lot of this off screen, unfortunately. Uh no, 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 no. I didn't say you guys move, god dang it. Don't you hate when you click something and they're like, hey, everybody wants to move. I'm like, no, no, not everybody wants to move. Uh, but what do we got here? Uh, infantry? That would be bad. Yeah, you know what? They can get more slightly more organization, why not? We're already on four gear conscription. I really don't want to expand that anymore. Um, are we winning everywhere? As long as we're winning everywhere, that's the most important thing. At the north end would be bad to get. Uh, if one of these guys keep attacking, you know what? We're going to do this too then. I'll support the attack. See what you can do. If we can't win, then we won't win there. Let's support the attack now some more. So that channel attack is good though. More decryption, which is fantastic. More encryption, more than guns. Guns and swords aren't all good enough. After all, the most powerful armies of the pre-World War built mighty tanks and battleships as well. While the tanks and battleships may be a bit unachievable, the fast tank units would certainly be helpful and you can never go wrong with a good boat. Oh, is an upgrade. Lords of War, it's not bad. You are an infantry leader. Recover faster. You may we'll go with improvisation expert next. What do we got here? Adventure circuitry, better ra radar, that'd be nice. Um, yeah. Eventually. Old world tactics. Uh, they're doing two more divisions, huh? So really, we just gotta wait. We want 67 caps, which is not ideal. Go ahead and attack again. You might actually be able to do something here, finally. Maybe. It looks like they are running out of equipment, though, which is nice. If we can get to this area here, this port, though, 
Um, we can definitely encircle and destroy all the divisions over here. But it's just a matter of time. God, we just can't win, can we? They're just extremely strong, which is kind of ridiculous. In the meantime, can we grab more manpower? Yes, we will, down here. And then uh, constructive criticisms. Some of our buildings are a bit unsafe. By training some people to inspect these buildings and note problems that can be fixed, might not have to deal with the factory collapsing every week. Yeah, that'd be ideal. Other than that, we've pretty much done all the focuses. And eventually, we'll be able to do a victory for the Junta. We have won uh, three rivers and no more. We've secured a place in the north in the kingdom. The drinks are on Viscount O'Brien. And sure, they're going to keep attacking us. Uh, sure, we can do that. Is there anything else we can do here at all? Uh, yeah, maybe. Consumer goods, maybe? See the patriotism? I don't want to lose weekly war support. Or weekly stability. What about mobilizing the people? Lose weekly war support, which, like I said, not ideal. And. Occupy territory, switch to riders. That also leaves a slight, slight bit of manpower. So, what, lost 3,000? And they lost 13,000, so. So, really, we're just kind of hanging out here until they all uh, exhaust themselves, until they're all fully gone. So, we've broken through to Porto Prairie. We're finishing the divisions up here, and I forgot that we could still do build on existing developments. While we still need to build up a new industry entirely, it'll be easiest if we start improving what we've already got rather than building entirely new workshops. And also, the Republic of Three Rivers went to war with the Nathan Nathaniel's Watchmen, so, um, yeah. We're going to go straight on in immediately, and then hopefully end this war. My god, it's going on for so long. Uh, there's actually not that much time between this episode and the last part of it, this episode. The last fade and fade out in this part, so, um, well, because we got to make sure we move fast enough so we can get everything we need. Starbook. Huh. Oh, there they go. Okay, well, that was fast. Well, then. Well, hopefully we can take everything here, too. That'd be kind of nice. Just go in. Um, yeah. They have a 6 8 divisions. We should be we should be fine. So, uh, yeah. But we do have a decent amount of uh, air XP. And I also want pragmatic aviation, something I almost never do. So, situational awareness would be nice. And then scavenging teams. By training teams to pick through what ruins exist up here, we can maximize the resources that we can gain from them. That should be great. That should be fantastic. Happy September. Do that too. That'd be nice. Yeah. So then after this, America Canada's won quite well, quite handily. So we might go to war with the gateway next. Maybe. Of course, that would be nice to get a trade node down right around here. I think. Without a manpower though. CQC training, not bad. A little more piercing wouldn't hurt. The north end is another trade-off for us. Very good. Let's go straight into Bono. Bottenau. Ah, they must have just forced out the visions, huh? Good. And we got him. Oh, wait. Wait, why is it just these guys? Well, alright. Well, we got him. And now no, this is separate. Alright then. I didn't expect that. But, hey, the war is over, thank god. And we actually have a tiny bit of manpower, finally. And we're going to start expanding out a little bit more, too. Which would be great. Scavenging teams, yes, please. And the war is over with victory. Thank goodness. We're going to end. Yes, please. We've got quite a bit of uh, factories here and whatnot. Get a bit of dinner out. Good. And you know what, we're going to start pumping it up anyways. Build some civvies there. That'll be nice. And start building some stuff up there. Send some inner prospectors, begin training programs. All very good stuff. You know, when you end the war, why don't you get any money at the end? Or more money? You should get the spoils of war, I would assume. Right? No? Okay. Oh boy, we need a lot of infantry armor, don't we? Oh boy. Uh, I'll go up to that much. You know what? As much as I want to make that for now. We need more millies. But victory. Industrial experimentation. To build a truly powerful industry, a country can't simply copy what works for other countries. A country must experiment and develop a truly innovative local industry. By doing that, we'll ensure our prosperity. Celebration fills the air. In our borgs, people flood the streets. <coughs> a small stash of fireworks brought in from the kingdom lighting up the sky. At long last, the rebellion had been crushed and the king's power restored to the north. People cheered and sang songs of victory, for it was our that led the, led the charge. 
as our broke the crushed republic under heel and championed the kingdom's cause. Now the people celebrate their victory and look forward to peace and prosperity under the kingdom they so, lo so loved so dearly. God save the king, God save Manitoba. Oh, get the corn of Gimli. Oh, that's nice. That's like the only state that we've actually have a decent amount of like, uh, compliance built up. Literally. A lot of political parties lose war support. Interesting. Get more stability. Huh. War propaganda, definitely. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, that was really fast and easy. Fresh, fresh word? Guess they'll be next. Losses, 3,000. We've only done 10%. Gateway. Focusing arrays, very nice. Tariff relief is done and over with. The pass, huh? And there we go. Well, I'll take whatever we can. Yeah. I wonder if they go to war with us. I hope so. No. Generator's nice. And O'Brien rules. O'Brien had done it. He has conquered the three rivers and redeemed himself. In the eyes of him and his followers, the thoughts and doubts that have nagged at him for years have finally been put to rest, and all is right with the world. Cool. Um, that's a case. What do we got here? Men over bullets. Equipment capture ratio, combat experience gain, trained militias, military first. That would make sense for us, because we're kind of a mercenary state. Night training, give everyone guns, popular officers, mercenary assistants, trained militias. Doesn't matter if it was your property, it belongs to the military now. Your supplies are necessary for the war, you'll be reimbursed afterwards if you're lucky. Or mercenary assistants. We are merc already. Caps can buy anything, you need a victory, hire someone else to fight our battles for us. I kind of like that one for what we have here. Let's go ahead and choose that one. Oh, good. We actually make it, made another division. Party like it's 2269. Um, after we do unempathetic design. Due to circumstance, we've had to develop an industry more fast paced and rapid in expansion than many others. Our buildings and factories are not designed to be lived in, so why make them friendly? O'Brien woke up staring at the ceiling, feeling nothing but a splitting headache. He groans and rolls over, falling off the couch he had passed out on and knocking over some empty bottles. Cursing, O'Brien managed to get his feet under him and walked to the bathroom, stepping over the sleeping bodies of his soldiers, all drunk out of their minds. Gripping the sink, he stared into the dirty mirror, trying to remember the events of the last few days. Though the still pounding headache and the smell of spilled alcohol, Brian recalls their party celebrating the victory of the Republic. No, not their victory, his victory. He smiles and wipes the mirror cleaner. He's, he's all had it. Uh, the fire that helped to make his name in the mercenary world. It was that fire that got him hired by the kingdom, and that fire that led him to survive in the Arbor. Maybe we'd have to restore Tyler after this job. O'Brien scratches his beard and fixes his hair, Now I thought, I, can't, I can keep going. After all, what's the harm in making a few more caps? The arrogant winner of the Manitoban game, where stability... Sport, war sport, and attack. I like it. I like it a lot. Especially if they start attacking us too. That'd be great. Uh, assert independence from the monarchy. It is time. Manitoba no longer has power, influence, rule, control, or dictated to us from afar. We make our own destiny now. From rags to office, with the legitimacy of the Junta ends in Arborg. Remove Manitoban funding, so worse recovery rate, better army leader costs, worse caps expenses, and we lose paranoid. Oh. Well, actually, uh, paranoid's kind of nice, actually. Can you actually, like, fight over here? Yeah, maybe. Something that would help us out, though, is in your base. Uh, shove it up there, because I'm sure we can use it later on. Can I respond something? Reduction in cost, naval doctrine, eh? Nice. Rock control gear, very good. Well, we made an encirclement. That's pretty good. And for now, we're going to choose what? Trade laws, honestly, military civvies, why not? 30% not bad. Hey, not bad overall. 704 losses, not bad. If that's the case, we want to use that against something else first. Um, Blighted Woods, we need a massive arm to take on America Canada, though. For that, really, we want to do it like that. Wow, Nathan, Nathan's Watchmen is looking pretty huge. Uh, could we fight them? We need way more divisions, though. One solid front line, maybe. Good brother, John. 
like no manpower, but that's all right. Who needs manpower? Right? Exactly. Um, you know, you're making it more difficult on yourselves than you think you have to. There you go. How much plants do we have down here? Oh, not nearly enough yet. Darn. It's alright. And then what? Large nobility. Ooh, that'd be kind of nice. Hey! Look at that. Expand the definition of nobility. Without some stuffy bureaucrats looking over our shoulders, we can begin to achieve what we truly want. And what we want is more elite soldiers, not less. Whose stupid idea was that a restrict who could become a knight? Move social immobility. So we lose that point one fifty power. Instead, we get point zero five, but way better special forces cap. Huh. From Rags office. O'Brien looked down at the town of Arbor from the balcony of the Capitol building. This is Capitol building now. The fall of the kingdom had been a huge shock to not only the locals, but to Brian himself, too. His pace suddenly cut off. However, he'd been quick to act, declaring himself the head of the lands of Arbor as his own state. As government was quickly able to secure the land and town, but they were now without resistance. Some pro monarchists tried with protest his actions, though to what end was beyond him. He slipped it from his flask, looking towards the horizon, the moonlight reflected off the buildings. It was a nice place, and he already knew how wealthy it was. O'Brien smiled briefly as the en entertaining thought entered his mind. For the first time in his mercenary career, he was glad of his employer die while he was on the job. Uh, now it was all his, set him and his company up for life. He raised his flask in the air and gave a toast. To the Kingdom, made rest in peace. We won't be able to request supply shipments. Attention to the Kingdom of Manitoba. I finally boiled over. <clears throat> and Yorkton has risen in revolt. Fortunately, this is a good opportunity for us to profit. Or, uh, reach out to Yorkton. Watch for Yorkton. Uh, I think that was already done. But okay. Prepare for royal intercession. It's unlikely Manitoba will allow us to remain independent for long. We need to be prepared for an intervention from the crown. That means building bunkers and ports along the borders. Oh. Solidify control. Oh, yeah, of course here. Oh. Look at that. We may need to establish ourselves in the territory we control for to have any chance of beating Manitoba in a war. It's time to ensure that the civilians in the new territories know who is in charge. That's going to get really ugly very easily and quickly. Oh, you can still put weapons. Oh, look at that. Doggos are good. Infantry armor is not so good. Fight for our independence. This is it, the fight of our lives, the future of Manitoba, a difficult fight, but the one that needs to be fought. For King of Manitobas and Duchy of Longenbugs, huh? the new kingdom of Angas. With the destruction of the old kingdom, we're now left free to establish our own. The kingdom of Angas will rule the north and none can stand against us. So, how is compliance? Because once you have some states court around here, it gets easier to core and whatnot, so. North end. Yes, please. Nice. I guess we have one trade node, that's good, at the very least. How many dogs we got? A thousand. Riders, it hurts their armor, but you know what? I don't really care. Gives you more suppression. So, let's, a few more doggies, but helped out with armor. It's not bad. So, that if I control, it's good. Fight for your independence. Could we actually win here? Like, in all honesty? Do we have enough divisions for the. No, we don't even have enough divisions yet. Wow. We can go to war with them, then go to war with these guys. Um, it's just a few more waterways. We just need more divisions, really. But we have no manpower, basically. Which is really sucky. So we'll go to war with them eventually. And we just gotta wait and core more, for more stuff. And we're back, as we are trying to cut Nathaniel's Watchmen. We're doing okay, we've lost 19. They have more than double our divisions, but uh, we got almost 2,000 political power. Just trying to save it up still. Um, in either direction, really. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, we have a battle cruiser here, too. Look at that. Oh, we have 40 ships. Oh, look at that. Cool. Um, so better, probably should spend it. Um, you know, take that, take that, take that. There you go. Uh, as we're waiting to core everything. Um, I guess we could try that. Overall, like, division for division. Our divisions, like, beat theirs out. Which is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but... Oh, well. 
They are really trying here, aren't they? They are really trying to die. Well, we just killed off an entire enemy division. They got some cockroaches, it looks like, or Brother Jan's Knights in Exile. We're doing really well. We're in encirclement over here, which is pretty good. Um, now we do have a little bit of manpower as we slowly increase in compliance across the entire board from what used to be the, uh, 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 the Republic of Free, Free Rivers. Three Rivers. Hey, and we made encirclement and destroyed some enemy divisions. Very nice. So now they're down to what? 30, uh, 36 divisions? Not bad. Not bad. It's going actually better than I thought it would so far. Was it perfect? No, but you know what is? Not us. This game just found something. Overall, not bad. Uh, you were smart, you go here. Good, and they died. Okay, fuel injection, get a little more defense, why not? Broken masks. Um, two peoples, huh? Well, I mean, at this point, you might as well get rid of them, too. Uh, yeah, let's get some more war support. We got more than enough political power as at the moment. Oh, we got the separate done as well, that's good. Boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Very nice, very nice. Um, we could demand a rap with territories, probably not. Military Academy officers, yeah. Still get three political power a day by doing no focuses, which is pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Looks like we got into going to the south, though. What have you been doing? Oh, oh god, this is a giant mess of things. Keep these guys in place. And you go here. I need you two to like retreat back up north. There you go. Can you more quickly like move into here? Ah, oh, they. There you go. That makes more sense. Go ahead and beat up crap out of them. Good. Get down there, get down there, get down there. Come on. Okay. I guess that's ideal. Oh! That was much faster than I thought what would happen. We still don't have enough divisions for all this. Um, one, two areas. Three areas. Four areas. Five areas where we could get attacked. Not ideal. This is pretty much a safe that I probably want to play it. Um, six, six, and six. You could probably split this up and have them hold out half the mode out here too. Because it's a bit more time to get more compliance when you're at peace, actually, so it's okay to wait just a little bit. Hey, Bismarck. Oh, I actually have Bismarck and Rapid City. That's a lot of territory to core, though. Alright. Wow. We greatly expanded. And what else we got around here? Bismarck too, huh? Of course, we do want to go to war with two peoples as well, but still. There's Bismarck. Well, since we're here, we're going to banner up the territories. Oh my god, when's the next time we can actually do all this stuff? Come on. Uh, lower our conscription. You know what? We're actually going to lower it. Are they going to give in? We got a lot of compliance here. I don't think they will, though. We can do it both and see what happens. 
61%. Good. Defensive armaments. They reject the ultimatum then. War it is. And go to war with down, down there too. No, two people shouldn't be too bad to take out. It does give us a little more time to beat up everybody else. Animal print. Local leader. Yeah, he's going to need this. Alright, so just in case. Give it a tiny bit more time. Get more divisions. Actually be able to core something here. Go ahead and move on in. We're demobilizing, but I don't really care. Make a nice training. Nice. Get that up, cut them off. Cut them off. Fully, completely cut them off. Oh, the person in the defense suit, look at that. Interesting. Nice. Hey, it's good job, special forces. You know what? There you go. Like that. Do that. Do this. Do that. Good. Yeah, it gives that much more time. Hey, 94%. It's good, very, very good though. Ah, finally. Whew. So once again, we'll split you into three parts. One, two, three. You four will go right here. Actually, no. Go right there. And I'll honestly, we only need one division right here. Should be able to hold out. It's only waterway. So one, two, three, four. That'd be good. Hopefully they don't navally invade, but you never know. Let's see. 92%, 92%. We're getting close. Is there any focus to get us more compliance? Resistance suppression, but not more compliance. Dockyard output. Building stuff up. Secret sauce, if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Boop. Nice. Oh, you got you. Oh, yeah, that's good. Well, we're going to save just in case and go to war with them. And have a good old time doing so. So they immediately start attacking us. Okay, that's not good. Uh, you're going to force the attack, and you're going to start attacking yourself. Oh, what the heck? There's another one? Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is why I don't want to go to war yet, so... Um, interesting. They move very, very fast. They're very strong, so... Interesting, we'll go to war when we're really ready to go. So, the Montana chapter declared war on us, so we kind of have to go in. And uh, give them a good old spanking. Um, it doesn't seem like it should be too hard. But you never know. Oh, the person's in defense, huh? And the hardest thing is going to be breaking over the river. And our soldiers, they're just not very good. No, it's not as good as they could be, really. Maybe this doctrine isn't as good as it used to be. Maybe. Maybe conventional warfare is better now. But then again... Oh, come on, damn busters. Um, how many men have we lost? 300 versus 1,200? That's not bad. Uh, go and help them out there, shall we? Uh, yeah. Alright. Mobile recon support? Sure, why not? They did force the defense, so what do you expect from that? 
Once we can start flooding over here, that's probably the most important thing. Proxy munitions, proxy AI. We do have a little bit of an air force though, so we should be able to do pretty darn well with doing enough damage to them. Um, 800 versus 2000. Well, honestly, that's not a good enough casualty ratio for how little manpower we have right now. What do you keep doing all this up here, though? Oh, come on. Why are we getting raided? That's so stupid. That's so, 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 so stupid. They have up to 55 divisions. Not ideal against us, but still, whatever. I see an opportunity for encirclement, though. Can we win here? Yes. And that traps all these divisions up here. Regardless if we keep this tile or not. So. But we are making more divisions still. And we're still expanding as well. Now doing this will delete all these enemy divisions eventually, which would be a great thing. Just stop taking them all out. Let's go ahead. Countryside rated. That's incredibly stupid. Incredibly dumb. Good, good, good. Better logistics are fine with me. And we'll grab some of this too. Nice. Good. Look at all that. That's nice to look at. Well, that makes me definitely feel better. We deleted 8,000 manpower from the forces. And now we have more divisions than they do. Fantastic. Lords of War, improvisation expert, move as fast as you can. Now that will open up the other side um, to conflicts and whatnot. By other side of conflicts. Really, I mean like America, Canada, they have to go all the way through here to get all the way down south so they can go all the way to push through here. So, that's spread of the forces a little bit more, which is nice. And you can see on screen, we've poured quite a bit of territory around here. Overall, it ain't too shabby with what we've poured. Take that there, 14,000. Alright, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. That's a lot of territory, which we can't really core that well. We should probably not just straight up annex him, but oh well, too late for that. Um, anything else we really need here? Not too much, but it did give us some more time to really hammer home on all this stuff over here. <coughs> You guys are going to need to be right there. Um, nine divisions by themselves right there. Uh, huh. Because there's a little tile right there, too. Um, so. This is kind of a radical idea. But what if? We replace this with mobile recon. It, was, it takes more supply, more HP, which is good, more production cost. Get more recon from that, it's not a bad idea, maybe. Calgary's ours, good. Missoula, Great Falls, just more trade notes across the board, I love it. Manpower wise, I mean, we can support all. Everything that we just got from these guys, it's not bad. Hmm. 5,000. Nice. Advanced energy weaponry. We're gonna get special projects pursued. Because they have quite a few divisions over there, which is not ideal for us. Yeah, that's a lot of divisions. I just don't think we can fight them all. Well, they have so many, it's not funny. Of course, there is a waterway here, so maybe, maybe spend more time, get core more stuff, make more divisions, and see how well we can do against them. And we're going to try to beat up America Canada. We're not doing so well in the West, but that's pretty much what I figured as much. Um, we're doing okay over here, though. On the uh, eastern side, we're doing quite well. Oh, they've broken our cypress, too. So we've lost 300, 400. They lost about 2,000. 104 divisions, that's quite a few guys. But we've already broken their cyphers, which is good. And we've got our spies here as well. Uh, that being said, please make sure they don't take that much more territory from us. And, ooh, we have another focus we can do? Oh, this one. The new King of Elgars. Oh, that would be great. Huh. Huh. We've been researching a lot of stuff. We've been coring a lot of stuff. Uh, as you can see from the map here, uh, we've been coring a lot of stuff. So, it is what it is. And I'd like to redo that one, but, you know... Oh, there's the Union of the Machine. We're actually doing really well compared to what I thought we would be doing. Yeah, when we first tried to go to war with them, it didn't go so well, obviously. Uh, but yeah, it was looking uh, pretty decent. Casualties, yeah. 7,000 losses, not bad. We're doing alright. Uh, I'll go throw you here. CNCI bot. 
have literally no use for you at all. And there you go. Bombers. Lots and lots of bombers. Our recovery for the infantry, which is doing great. Hey, now we're the kingdom. Now we're doing okay. We should have a crap ton of damage being done to them. But, it's, we're, but we're not. So we want a ton of planes. Tons and tons and tons. Oh my god, this is disgusting. What is going on here? Hold on. Hello? Oh, you got completely encircled. Good job, guys. Um, you guys are doing okay. I need you guys to come back. What are you doing here? Go. Which kind of sucks for these guys over here, too. Still. Beep. Please do that. What incarnation? Oh my god. This is such a mess. It's not funny. Um, you guys are good. You're actually doing very good. I need you guys to get on this side so we don't lose our capital. So, yeah, good luck with that. You guys go right here. Hopefully these seven divisions don't die, but you know what they do? They're a good distraction. Thank you. Darn it. Better to kill them all off. Hey, 70,000 losses though. It's not bad. Could be better though. Economic resurgence, that's good. You know what, you're gonna force the attack. Just straight force it through them. Go ahead. And you're going to straight force it as well. Cooling systems. Glad we can research it. Don't know why we need to research it. But I'm glad we can. Good, good, good. Smash until they're completely smashed. And please stop losing some of our core territory. Please. Are you going to move or are you going to like shoot yourself in the foot? Probably going to end up shooting yourself in the foot. But this, the east is... The West has done so much better than I thought it, they would. It's not funny. Um, I'm gonna wait for all this stuff. I guess more air superiority. Sure, why not? Uh, support them in the South. Why not? That would be fantastic. This is taking me way longer than I thought it would, which kind of really sucks, but it is what it is. I feel like I got a ton of time anyways right now in my life. Uh, there we go. Cool. And have they all died finally? Yes, they have. Good, good, good. And you're going to come back up here. Got off what? 20, 30,000? They're almost dead. 50 more divisions still, but it does not matter. They shall perish as animals. It's good for army XP. Look at that. Beautiful. But, I think we'll end it there. We're looking pretty darn good, even though we got a couple of Union of the Machines split in two, huh? But regardless, we're the Kingdom of Ongers. We've done very well with King O'Brien, but if you enjoyed this campaign, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. The past keepers have done very well, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.